really loving the Sapsan service here at First Class, it's just incredible. Um, probably the best First Class I've ever had on a train. This is on a train, can you believe this? Welcome back to St. Petersburg in Russia and Moskovsky Station, which can only mean one thing. We're about to take a ride on another super cool Russian train. Now today we're taking a train down to Moscow and we're not just taking any train, we're taking the Sapsan, which is Russia's high speed bullet train. It does the 700 kilometer journey from here in St. Petersburg down to Moscow in just four hours. up to 155 miles an hour. A normal car journey from here in St. Petersburg to Moscow would take eight hours. The Sapsan does it in just four, it's incredible. So I'm looking forward to getting a ride on it tonight from here down to Moscow. First, time for me tea. All right, so there's a train that's going soon from St. Petersburg Station and that's ours, the 775 to Moscow at high speed. Um, I've got a platform just yet, just waiting for it to be assigned and then we can head through to get on board the Samsung. And the Sapsan train is going to take me down. Let's do it this way. It's going to take me down from here to Moscow. Looking forward to it. So, of course, if we're doing the Sapsan down to Moscow, we've got to do it in style. We're doing it in first class today. And I'm in carriage one seat 007. The name's Bond. James Bond. Shaking, not stirred, as I'm sure I will be by the time I get to Moscow. Just waiting for him to open the doors now. So then on board the really comfortable Sapsan first class, look at this. Incredibly spacious and they've given us blankets and pillows. Lovely Sapsan pillow here. Branding all around, look at this seat. I mean we'll talk about the seat a little bit later on, but look at this. This is on a train, can you believe this? Lining controls and everything, and an absolute ton of leg room. I love this. It's about four hours tonight, then the train down to uh, Moscow. So, looking forward to it. So, we get a little amenity kit here as well. I think it may just be slippers. I'm not sure. Should we have a look? Let's have a see. Oh, wow! So, we get some gorgeous gentleman slippers. Should have bought my smoking jacket really, shouldn't I? And then we've got, uh, wow, look at this amenity kit. Can't wait to go through that later. Sapsan. Sapsan actually means peregrine falcon, by the way, in Russian. A little bit of Russian trivia for you there. One of the few words that I have learnt on this journey to Russia. So yeah, oh, peregrine falcon. Awesome.
taking along now at more than 200 kilometers an hour now we've left St. Petersburg first service has come around cheese and wine and stuff very cool look how fast we're moving look I um, just thought I'd have a quick show you around the seat while I'm waiting for dinner and stuff the table obviously as you can see pops out from down there we've got a bit of a um, ooh, light up there on this side you've got the controls for the seat in here and popping out from down here is the entertainment system which is pretty cool um, it's, it, it's all in Russian and um, not quite sure how I'd change it, but um, hey, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? Personal TV on a train. And then down here, there's a power port, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to plug in and charge some of my devices in a little while. The seat itself fully well, it reclines. All the way back here. It's not a flatbed. Not that you need a flatbed for a four hour train, but it's pretty decent um, as far as trains go. And of course, you get your sort of duvet and pillow and everything to try and sleep as well if you want to, which I might do in a little while once the sun goes down. But so far, really loving the Sapsan service here in first class. It's just incredible. Um, probably the best first class I've ever had on a train. Let's get some wine drink. So dinner has arrived and we've got chicken salad for the starter, followed by chicken for the main course. Looking forward to this, looks really delicious. All right, then, shall we have a look at this amenity kit? Let's have a look. Inside it, we have a comb, a shoe horn, eye mask, a few bits and bobs, toiletries, and the like, and a dental kit as well. It's pretty decent. It's a four hour train ride, you get an immunity kit, That's so cool. <laughs> Well, there we go. The Sapsan First Class Amenity Kit to add to my collection. Kolosha. So we have two stops on tonight's train down to Moscow. Um, so we can go direct. Tonight is going through a place called Molokoi and a place called Tivir, which is a bit further down, and this is our first stop, Monogoy.
then last stop, City of Tavir. Next stop, Moscow. Dear ladies and gentlemen, to make your journey more pleasant and comfortable, we invite you to visit the business lounges located at the Leningradsky and Moskovsky railway terminals, as well as at railway stations of Tver. So about half an hour to go now until we arrive into Moscow and I have to say I wasn't really sure what to expect with the um, Sapsan bullet train. My original plan had been to um, get the overnight sleeper train down, um, leaving at half nine and getting in at like six in the morning or something and then dashing across Moscow to get my flight home. Um, but I put it to my patrons and they said um, why not try the bullet train and I did and you know what I'm quite pleased that I did because now we get to Moscow I can take a leisurely ride across the city to the airport hotel stay there and get a bit of a line in the morning um, and have ridden down in quite nice style as well so yeah thank you patrons don't forget you can join them at the link on the screen as well nice sort of little plug in there as well um, but yeah half an hour I reckon and then we'll be arriving into Moscow So not far to go until we arrive into Moscow. They've just come around with a little gift for us. I don't know what it is actually. Let's have a look. Chocolate covered nuts. Thank you, Russian Railways. Very nice. And thank you, Sapsan. Спасибо за свидание. Hey, here we are then, Moscow, Leningradsky station again. To my right down from St. Petersburg on the Sapsan bullet train. How cool was that? It's night time in Moscow. I don't think I've ever seen night time in Moscow on this trip. So it doesn't get, doesn't get dark until like 11 and it gets light at like midnight or something. It's ridiculous. But anyway, next stop, let's try and get a car to the airport. My ride in Sapsan first class cost me £230 or 317 US dollars, working out at a cost of 52 pence per mile. This makes it more expensive than the overnight Krasnaya Strela train that I took, but it also meant that I'd done the journey in just four hours. Don't forget to check out my ride on the Krasnaya Strela at the link on the screen now, and let me know in the comments which of the two trains that you take between Moscow and St. Petersburg. Inside the terminal at Domodedovo Airport, south of Moscow. Oy. Well, that um, was a nice trip, wasn't it? Down on the Sapsan from um, St. Petersburg to Moscow. Um, I'm quite happy with that because that means that now I get a good seven hours sleep here in the hotel and I don't have to be up until sort of half seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Whereas if I'd have got the train, it would have been a 5 a.m. wake up call and then an hour shooting across the city of Moscow. So quite happy with that, really. Um, nice little ride down on the Sapsan train. Let me know what you thought to it down in the comments. But for me, well, I'm off to get some sleep because tomorrow I'm heading home. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.